Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about five high income skills to help Indian students earn and grow in their career. I am Srinath Warrior. I am an AI engineering manager from Bangalore. For this video, I have considered skills around two growing economies in India so that it sets the base for your career in the future. The first area is content creator economy and the second area is around the AI tech revolution. I strongly believe that most businesses in the future will be one of these two types. So you'll either have a personal brand where you push content either to educate or entertain. Or it's a startup where you deliver a product to generate value for B2B or B2C companies mostly driven by tech, specifically AI. So let's get started. The first skill on our list is video editing. With video content blowing up on platforms like YouTube, Instagram and LinkedIn, the demand for good video editors is very high. But that doesn't mean that just by being a video editor you'll suddenly earn a lot because the market is also quite crowded. For example, content creators get lots of emails from video editors every single day and all of them already have a portfolio of videos. They already have a list of reasons why their video would drive much more views than any other editor. So if you don't want to get lost in the entire list of editors, you can follow these three steps. Emulate. Try and learn from editors who have a specific style of editing videos. For example, check out channels like James Jani or Cleo Abram or Indian YouTubers like Varun Maya. Understand the nuances of the cuts, pacing, background audio, animations and branding. This will help you build opinions on what is good and bad editing and then build a niche for yourself. Network. Try to get into the network of content creators and other editors. This will help build a good portfolio of successful videos. Around this time, you can also try to hire a few other editors under your brand name. Try to board a rocket ship. Most of the very successful editors have been with a content creator for a very long time. So when the creator grows, you grow with them. So treat all your clients very professionally and your work with high respect. Also, while you do need to understand the core process really well, don't shy away from using great tools. So remember that it's not the tool, but it's your skill and knowledge that makes you great. If you're getting started, I would suggest to use DaVinci Studio. It's free and very self-explanatory. But at the same time, you also have tools like FireCut AI, which makes it easier to cut silences in videos. And you also have audio libraries like Motion Array or Envato Elements. It's worth buying a subscription to one of them to use in your video. You can generally charge around 4,000 to 20,000 Indian rupees for a longer YouTube video and around 1 to 5,000 for a reel. Of course, this depends on the complexity of the projects and the experience that you bring. As you build a better brand and a name, the price gets much higher. The next skill is learning to start a personal brand agency. As more people try to grow on platforms like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, they need experts to help them build a strong, consistent personal brand. And here's where you come in. As someone who can manage content creation, video production, graphic design, social media strategy, you can help people become better content creators. Whether it's shooting their videos, designing their Instagram posts, or helping them grow on LinkedIn, this service is in huge demand. For example, Angus Parker has been the manager for Ali Abdal for many years now. He helps him manage his entire team and his entire academy. Similarly, many students and professionals are looking for ways to build their online presence, but they don't know where to start. If you can offer them that direction and create a strong brand for them, you're going to be in high demand. The only thing is you need to get some experience on this. So try to work for some creator agency and gain some experience first. So you'll need to know to use the following tools. Some project management and documentation tool like Notion, email marketing tool like MailChimp or Brevo, payment gateways like Razorpay or cash free payments, community management tools like Riggy or Circle, and similar other tools. Of course, once you scale, you might hire individual people under you to manage each tool. Personal branding consultants can earn anywhere from 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs a year, depending on the clients you work with and the scale of your projects. The next skill is website building. Why I still added this skill to this list is because last year I built this website for my brother Dr. Sid Warrior for his neuroscience bootcamp. So I built it completely on my own with Framer in about three days. But before I built it, I did get a quote from multiple vendors whose quotes were in the range of 50,000 to 3 lakh Indian rupees. So website building is definitely still a market in India. Now you have two types of websites, static and dynamic. In simple terms, static is basically a simpler website where everyone sees the same screens and same data. You don't need a complex backend logic or database table. Tools like Framer are great for this. 
You can build amazing looking websites while also taking care of the performance and security bit of it. You can check out my video on website building for more detail. Now, if you want to take it a step further with 3D and animations, you can also use tools like Spline. 3D elements can give your website a more futuristic and polished look. You can try and sell these websites for people who need professional portfolios, blogs, product landing pages, etc. Dynamic websites are more complex. For this, you'll have to do more coding. Your data could be changing based on your user information. So you would need a backend logic so that your browser can send information to the backend via APIs. You'll have to manage the login and security, like maybe adding a Google sign in. If you're starting off with coding, learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and try to build basic websites first. Once you get comfortable, you can use libraries like React or Next.js for the front end and Node.js for the back end. So if you learn JavaScript, you can do full stack development as well, both front end and back end. You can also use tools like Supabase and Vercel to speed up the development and deployment process. Now you can use AI tools like bold.new or cursor for quickly getting started with your development. You can easily charge 50,000 to 1 lakh for static websites. But for full-fledged websites with a backend and more complex functionality, the price goes up to like 5 to 10 lakhs per website. Plus, you can continue charging for support and maintenance. The next skill is design. But when I say design, I'm talking about different roles here. So you have UX designer, visual designer, thumbnail designer, animation designer, user researcher, and many more. Of course, being visually creative and understanding the user is at the core of all these roles. 20 years ago, none of these roles existed. A software developer used to build the website and decide how it looks. But over time, good design and usability became a very important differentiator for good product. And this is why design is such a crucial skill now. Let's start with a UX designer. Now, as a user experience or UX designer, your job is to make sure that websites and apps are functional, easy to use, and visually good looking. The industry standard tool for UX is Figma. It's a great place to get started to learn UX. You can also check out their free templates and start tweaking them to get an idea. In larger tech teams, a UX designer cannot manage all the aspects of the design. So there are more roles that have emerged in recent years like visual designer, animation designer, illustrator, and motion designer. These are even more niche skills. A visual designer looks purely on the visual appearance like colors, typography, etc. Animation designer focuses on animating the elements, making the complete design look more appealing and fun. Motion designers look at how different elements move and interact with each other, creating a sense of movement and flow. An illustrator would specifically build icons to be used across the app. Figma itself might not be sufficient for all of these roles. You might need After Effects or Adobe Illustrator at time. Let's look at the UX researcher role. So another aspect of design which is not very famous is user researcher. A user researcher basically interviews customers of a product to understand why they use the product, how they use it, and how they would like a better experience. The reason why this is a separate role is because when you get too deep into building products as a product manager or UX designer or a developer, you sometimes forget about the perspective of the customer. So a researcher is a dedicated role to continuously keep interviewing customers and understanding their needs and pain points. Now, this is not necessarily a very visually creative skill, but you still need a huge amount of empathy for the customer. You need to connect with the person sitting in front of you and help them open up to you. I would definitely refer the book Mom Test to understand how to become a better user researcher. Now let's look at the thumbnail designer role. So demand for good design is equally increasing in the content creator world. So you can also get into a more niche area like thumbnail design for YouTubers. A YouTube video does well only if it has a great thumbnail and title. So YouTubers happily spend money to get good thumbnails made. A good thumbnail designer can charge say 5,000 for a thumbnail. But the thing is video editors nowadays also sometimes include this in their pricing. So you need to look for clients who are not happy with their thumbnails and need more of an expert. In comparison, UX designers and tech companies earn easily between 10 lakhs to even 50 lakhs a year. This number range is quite large because it depends on the type of the company, size of the team and seniority. Many of these companies hire primarily from design colleges like NID, NIFT, Shrishti, IIT Design and others. So if you're very sure of this career path, plan in advance to give the competitive exams to get into these colleges. But if you don't want to spend 10 or 20 lakhs for a college degree, you can always get started for free with some of these YouTube channels. The next skill is AI and Gen AI development. First of all, let's understand the difference between AI and generative AI. 
AI or artificial intelligence is the field of study of building intelligence into machines. We have all been experiencing machine learning cases for quite some time. For example, when Google Photos was able to find photos with your face or a specific text or all images with a chair in it within a large list of images or Amazon or Netflix was able to provide similar items for you to consume. These were ML algorithms with a specific focus task. So you need very large amounts of data to do these ML tasks. Gen AI is a more recent term, like maybe the last three years, ever since large AI models became ready for public consumption. So you have these large language models or LLMs like GPT, Gemini, Claude, or image generation models like GANs or diffusion models like DALI, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, etc. So as a student in India, how do you benefit from all of this? It depends on where you are at at the AI learning journey pyramid. So this pyramid is something that I use to explain how to learn and grow from a beginner to an expert in AI. So due to Gen AI tools, opportunities to earn has opened up at multiple levels of this pyramid. But if you're serious about making money on a long-term basis with AI, you can start with level three. Learn basic coding with Python or JavaScript, data structures and algorithms, version control and deployment. This will help you build Gen AI wrappers, which is a big market right now. And as you move up the ladder, you can earn much more when you learn to scale your AI product. So if you build your product with all of these product standards, then it's all sorted. Gen AI developers can earn 15 lakhs to 50 lakhs annually, depending on the company and your experience. For AI developers, the earning potential can be much higher since you'll be building the AI model from scratch and scale it. Salaries here can even cross one crore annually, especially for roles in big tech companies or well-funded startups. So these are five high income skills that you can start learning today to make 2025 an excellent year for you. Don't just watch this video and forget about it. Pick one skill, set a deadline and put it in the comment so that you can commit to yourself and start building your portfolio. Also, check out these videos to grow your career. Hit like and subscribe because then I'll know that you're enjoying this content. Thanks for watching.